Hi, Jerry Schaffer, PestCemetery.com, The Bug Doctor. I want to take a minute and talk to you today about swarm castles. Termites, as we know, are blind and shun light, but one time a year they come swarming out of the ground or the wood that they're eating by the tens of thousands. Now, if you know about subterranean termites, they usually travel in tunnels about as big as my little finger. They get bigger as time goes on. But when the swarmers come out, and they come out by so many, how do so many termites fit in just a tiny little tunnel? Well, sometimes they do pack those tunnels with the swarmer termites, but moreover, they construct what we call a swarm castle. And this is a specialized area where the swarmers can be herded up, almost like cattle, into this area. And when the conditions are just right, humidity is just right, it's usually in the morning, the day after a rain, um, they'll send the swarmers out by uh, nipping them in the, in the bud and, and uh, ushering them right on out of their swarm castle. So I found a perfect example of this swarm castle. I'm in a real dark, uh, damaged barn right now, so uh, lighting is not the greatest, but let's do the best we can. Like I said, termites travel in little tiny mud tunnels, and you can see, even with the light off, it's a little difficult, but you can see all this mud. Look at how big that is. And then over in here, just how uh, huge this is. And what, what could this possibly be? We can see some feeding right here. And you can see the damage and how messy that is. But if you look here, I broke the swarm castle open. You can tell that the area behind the mud is nice and smooth. There's uh, really no eating or damage or etching, what I call etching their fecal matter and whatnot. It's just a nice, almost if someone took a sand, uh, piece of sandpaper and sanded it. This is so that the termite wings don't get stuck and then tear off. Termite wings are really, really fragile. Even after a swarm, all they got to do is arch their back and the wings snap right off because they don't need them after they've done swarming and they just need to get back in the ground and do their happy thing. But as you uh, can see, this is just a lot of mud in here and it really represents no eating. And as we break it apart, look at all, you can really see down in there plenty of room for tons of swarmers to uh, just kind of park and wait, wait for the signal. Next day or a week later, however long it takes, they're ready to swarm up by the tens of thousands. And this is where they all um, were herded, and it was sort of like the staging area before the swarm. So, hey, this has been Jerry Shepard with PestCemetery.com. Thank you so much for uh, reading and visiting my blog. I really do appreciate it, and hopefully this was informative for you, and I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you.